how to install a lock make sure the wood is prepped one hole here one here and one two three okay. four okay five. that hole there yeah not right now Matt and then this for the deadbolt <clears throat> on the back side only on the back side got it it doesn't matter because you're gonna have cover plates mm -hmm. if the holes are a little big because obviously this is gonna cover it Lock case These wires go through the hole and to the back of the door. And that would always come pre-assembled? Yes. Okay. The correct term is lock case? Yeah, lock case or mortise. Mortise, okay. There's a screw pack with wood screws in it. Okay, now you're gonna have a hardware pack. I have already taken out what's not needed. But you got a, a little clip and a spindle. You have this hole here. Mm -hmm. And also it says EXT right here. Mm -hmm. Exterior. Exterior. So you could put it from the outside to the <clears> inside. <throat> you don't want this to be tight. You mm -hmm. want it to be quarter turn, half turn loose so that because these work independently, one works one half of the um, the hub here and one works the other half of the hub. If it's tight, it's not going to work. So you want to back it, tighten it up, back it up a little bit, and then I always put the hole vertical Got it. from the front to the back. And then you just take this and squeeze it and slide it around on the back side and put those, there's two little holes or two little caps in there yeah. that fit in the holes. So just kind of squeeze and slide it back on there. Okay, got it. Okay. Cover plate. You got a sign that side that's very reflective mm -hmm. and a side that's not. Mm -hmm. You guys like shiny here. So that one goes out. I've already put these little clips come in the hardware packs. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a white one and a black one. The white one says left on it, mm -hmm. the black one says right. If you hold these handles like this, see how this handle goes to the right, mm -hmm. this handle goes to the left? Yeah. That's the, uh, you put that clip in. The one where the handle goes to the right, handle goes to the left. Got it. Um, also, there's two little places where you can set it. You have Euro and you have ANSI. Mm -hmm. We're not in Europe. So we ANSI. Put it in ANSI. Okay. And it just pops right in there. Slide it on there that you can adjust later. Yep. Same thing, back back side, shiny side out. Mm -hmm. This little spindle does, comes in the hardware pack. You want to put it in there. Um, it's okay. See that little notch? Yeah. The long side has to go into the spindle. If you try to put, if you try to put it this way, it'll go in. This way, it won't go in. Got it. Okay. So the long, the, you got a notch. The longer side goes into the spindle. Just go ahead and pop it all the way down in there. Okay. Throw these guys through. Easiest way to do this is to oh always want the the spindle up so you're turning something this way. Correct. 
you have it down like this, it gets in the way and you have to turn it the opposite way. Okay. So you want the thumb turn thing to be up, dangling down. Okay. Yeah. And then you want to just line these two shapes up there and go like that. If you can't get it to go in, just usually you can just wiggle it, mm -hmm. adjust the plate, it'll pop on there. This, the hardware packs brand new come with four of these screws too long too short you want to use the two longer ones we've already removed the shorter ones okay right now I'm not hitting it mm -hmm. so if you look at my hand here if I twist this twist it the other way I'll find the hole just got it just need to adjust it yep Also, if you tighten one too much, then go to tighten the other one, you're going to kind of bow it and you're not going to be able to find the other one. So you want to kind of leave it a little loose. You want to leave it a little loose anyway so you can adjust the cover plate Got it. to straighten it out. So I leave that somewhat loose. And I just kind of take a screwdriver and straighten it yeah. here, straighten it there. <clears throat> This guy. Reader. Yeah, this is the reader. We've already pre-assembled all this. This has the BLE um, board in there that um, hold the, what is it? The, what, what do they call that black thing? The spacer? Yeah, the B BLE spacer. All pre-assembled. I go through here. It's kind of tricky because the cover plate hole. Pull these wires through carefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pull the occupieds. That's that one right there. Okay. So now you got all these wires back here. These hardware packs come, these, with the hardware pack comes, it has shorter black screws, but mm -hmm. with, with that BLE expansion pack, you need these long screws that they got sent it. us. Um, the, the other ones won't reach. So you wanna take all these wires, throw it through here. It's easier to hand tighten this. Also, these little tabs here, mm -hmm. they come in. You want to open them up open before up. you put them, put this on. It just makes life easier. Okay. Same thing, just kind of lightly tighten it. And where's my measuring tool? Hank has it. Okay, now that we've gotten everything straight, we can go ahead and tighten these down. Okay, this is the LCA. This is where you plug everything in, all these wires essentially. Mm -hmm. You got two little hooks right here up top. Yeah. You're gonna slide it right on this part right here. Right. So bring these wires down, and that just slides right on there and sits on there. Okay. Bring this around, you got a ground wire up here. This is the lock case wire. Okay, now generally, just the reader would plug into here. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But because we have the BLE and the online, we have this longer adapter cable to tie uh, the Zigbee board and the BLE board all, all together. So we got to bring... We use this extra expansion cable to bring it all together pretty much. Mm -hmm. So it's easiest if you put this chip, this chip on here first. Then we put this guy into here to the back. This is the front of it. See this, these right mm -hmm. here coming yeah. out. And then you want to push this to the back in here. Right. Okay. And then this will sit. These, this sits up here. Slides right on that and Cover. pops in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this wire actually is meant to hook up and over there. Mm -hmm. And then before you put this on here. You want to make sure you want to plug this wire into the back because you won't be able to get to it. Got it. So this is the this normally would plug here, but since we since we're using all these extra boards, we're going to plug it in back here, and then that's going to plug in there. Got it. So then this just slides on this guy right here. Mm -hmm. comes across plugs into there perfect and then batteries so last thing to plug in these sit I always sit with the batteries facing out just so it's not touching the metal doesn't short anything out mm -hmm. so this sits here now we got a spaghetti mess of wires to clean up the easiest way to do that is to start from one side I just start here And just work them all in these tabs. Oh, okay, and then just push the tabs. Yep. Okay, got it. And just work your way around. Yeah. This guy has a screw in it. Okay. Um, the metal part goes on the bottom. Goes on the bottom. Go ahead and it'll fit right on there. Same thing, it's a T20 for everything except for these two faceplate screws. Yeah. I always put, pull that out, it helps line everything up. You got countersunk holes versus mm -hmm. not countersunk holes, so. I always just hand tighten these so they don't strip out. Got it. They're small screws. Sometimes if this is sticking out a little bit, you can rubber mallet, put that nice and flush. That's the last part? Yeah, or last or first, depending on uh, how Who's you want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Hank is going to show us how to program the lock. Yep. The first thing we do with a new lock is we upload the correct firmware for your hotel in lock service. You're using this special one for the dual solution, which is the BLE and the online. So it has two chips in it. Got it. Right? So there's one here, one in the back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this handles both of those. So this is a... Now, the, the, the phone I use to test is an Asa Abloy app. 